Good morning, my name is Alexia Lucas and I'm the owner of Virgin Charter Yachts in the British Virgin Islands. I'm coming to you from the Cannes Boat Show in France aboard the Aventura 50 Power Cat. We are very excited to be the Aventura dealer for the Caribbean and we're thrilled that we have two of this fantastic model joining our charter fleet next season. I wanted to give you a walk through the Aventura so you can see what the Power Cat is like and see what options you could choose from if you were looking to purchase one of these either for private or for charter ownership. One really unique feature of the Aventura is that they come in up to a five or six double cabin and five or six head layout, which is absolutely a standout in the charter market. So far, the guest response has been fantastic. Our Aventuras are booking better than anything else in our charter fleet, and we cannot wait to have our first one in the water in BVI this spring. Come aboard and join me on the Aventura 50. This is the aft of the Aventura 50. It is a 50 foot power cat with a 25 foot beam. You can see one really cool feature is they have the full beam hydraulic swim platform. So it makes getting on the yacht extremely easy, but it also is really convenient if you want to have a beach club, makes it really nice for launching your tender. And you can see that they have a walkthrough area so you can get all the way from one side of the vessel to the other, even if you had the platform down. So that's a really nice feature. I'll walk across here now so you can see the engine room. These come standard with Yanmar 320s. We are upgrading them to the 440 Yanmars, which is an option. I think it provides a lot more power. And you see you have your hatch, just like on the starboard side, you have your hatch on the port side. So it's very easy to access, easy to get into the engine room. Nice big engine rooms, plenty of space. So you see your engines in here, and then this is where the generator for the hydraulic swim platform is about 450 kilograms. So you actually have a pretty good ability to put a tender um, and outboard on. I would recommend something in the 13, maybe 14 foot max range with a 25 to 30 horsepower outboard would probably be the best fit. And then I'll come up this side that I showed you a bit earlier. You can see you have a really nice wide walkway. This is on both sides. Nice railing. Huge walk space, very comfortable. It's not at all confined, it's very safe. This railing is about waist level, so it's a very supportive area. And then this takes you out onto the bow that I will go do in a little bit more detail, but you see you have this really nice seating area on the bow that's all built in. And I'll take you back toward the aft. Again, this one has selected the synthetic teak. You do have the option for a real wood floor if you prefer. And we'll come back to the aft deck, and then we will go up the stairs and inside of the Aventura 50 to continue the tour. Sure, you also have this really, really wide walkway. So I'll step back here and you can see you basically have a double width to get up on to the back of the power cat. So you have a wide walkway on the starboard that you can access from these steps and this lifts up and this is where your starboard engine is. And then you also have a fixed section that comes up from your platform. So if you had the starboard hatch open, you would still have a way to get up onto the aft deck, which is very convenient. You also have this beautiful outdoor rain shower, which is a really nice feature. So instead of just a handheld shower that pulls out, you have a rain shower fixture. If you come up onto the aft deck, um, you'll see that this one is done in synthetic teak. You have the option to do synthetic teak or you have the option to do real wood. It's no longer teak wood. Um, it's a different kind of wood. It has a similar look and texture, but due to environmental issues, teak is becoming harder to source and significantly more expensive. Uh, but you do have the option to either do synthetic teak or a real wood that looks like teak, or you can just do the white on the aft. So I'll come around the aft deck here and you can see 
One thing that absolutely stands out on the Aventura in this size of Power Cat is this aft seating area. This is really unlike anything in this size range or in this class. You have this huge dining table that you could easily put 10 or 12 people around, which is great because one of the unique features of the Aventura is that you can build this in up to a six cabin, six head layout. So you could have 12 people on board and this table would more than accommodate. You then come right into your salon, which has three big glass sliding pocket doors. I'll step back so you can get a better view of that. Your salon is very comfortable. It's nice, it's open, it's very bright, and you do have the walkthrough, which gives you that fantastic airflow. All of the Aventuras come standard with a very large household fridge freezer. This one is a Samsung. Um, that's what they've been putting in recently. This is a really fantastic feature. We know both for private owners and especially for the boats that we have in our charter fleet, guests really prefer the stand-up fridge freezer to the refrigerator freezer drawers. If you're looking to purchase an Aventura, one thing that's really nice about the brand is you do have a little bit more customization and choice than you have with other companies. So with this interior salon, you have about um, 20 different colors that you can pick from for this interior upholstery. And for your exterior upholstery, you have about six different choices. So you really can do some things to personalize the Aventura and make it more your own. In the salon, you basically have two different choices for interiors. This is the lighter floor package with the darker cabinetry and the black countertops. There's also an option for flooring that's more the color of the cabinets with lighter cabinets. Um, they're a little bit more in that kind of light gray color family. And you can do that for the cabinets with a flooring that's more the color of the cabinets that are on this model. So you do have a couple of different interior options as well. If you go um, with the option of adding a TV, you'll see that it comes up over here in the back. It just pops up from behind your couch. Uh, you have this wonderful settee that's again, very large, can accommodate the 10 or 12 people that you could have on this vessel. You can do this in only a three cabin layout. So you don't have to go with something as large as a five or six cabin. For charter, we know that the more heads and the more cabins you have, the better the yacht will book. So we're encouraging owners to go with a five cabin, five head layout because that gives you the most versatility for charter, but it still gives you a master suite, which down the road for resale means that you just keep yourself open to as many buyers as possible. So on the galley, you also have a lot of different options for customization. So this is the version that has the built-in oven. This also has the wine bar that's built in. Um, there is an option to add a convection microwave. We've done that on the two that we have coming to our charter fleet this season. So right here, you can build in, in this cabinet, you can build in a um, microwave specific rather than just having it in your oven. We also have done an option for a induction cooktop. Just for safety, we find that induction is a little bit safer for our clients than gas. So that is also an option. You have this really nice big sink, which is nice and deep. And then it has a bunch of storage right behind it. I really like this, how they've done these cutouts. It's a really nice spot if you want baskets to you know, store your fruit, store your snacks, um, or really just put anything you'd like in there, but it keeps it safe from sliding all over. And then if you look out to the port, you have another kind of extended section of your galley where you can fit in a dishwasher if you'd like. They can also do these with front panel that matches the cabinets. So if you don't want to see the dishwasher, they can hide it behind a cabinet. And it just gives you additional storage if you don't go with the dishwasher option. Then over to starboard, you do have a really nice interior helm. Uh, obviously in charter, most of our clients are going to drive from the flybridge. That's what we always recommend for visibility. But the nice thing is if you needed to drive inside, you have really nice visibility and you have a really nice spot here. The thing I really like is you don't lose a bunch of your interior space. You can see it's a very comfortable area, but it hasn't taken away and you haven't lost anything by adding that interior helm. So it's just kind of an extra bonus. They go with Garmin electronics on the Aventuras. You have two different um, packages. Basically, the big difference is if you go with 12 inch screens or if you go with 16 inch screens. There is also an option for a bow thruster as well as a joystick control on your Yanmar engines. 
The Aventuras come standard with 320 Yanmars. There is an option to upgrade to 440s. For the yachts that are coming into our fleet, we are going with the 440 engines. We feel that the upgrade is absolutely worth it. And we are doing both the bow thruster and the joystick control. Clients really like the ability to have as much control with the vessel as they can when they're coming into a dock. And that joystick really makes that possible. So if I step back from the helm station, you see you have the really nice door forward. And this is one of the things that we love about the design of the Aventura. These were designed from the ground up in around 2017, 18 and started being produced around 2019. Aventura has been building power cats um, for now the last four or five years. They've been building catamarans though for more than 20 years. So they're a very established company, but the very unique thing is when they built this catamaran, they did it from the ground up. They worked with the design team and they basically took all the features that are currently on the market in Power Cats. They took all the best options and put them together into a layout that included all the things that they knew from clients that were really popular. And one of the main things we hear all the time is this walkthrough. People love that you can go from the aft deck and you can come all the way through the vessel and you can go all the way out through this nice walk through out to the front deck. And it's really fantastic because it gives you great airflow, gives you nice visibility, lots of natural light comes through, but really you can just brace this open and you can feel the breeze. I mean, you can even see with the little flags out here, how breezy it is. You might be able to hear it even in my video, um, but it's a really, really fantastic option. And then obviously you just leave that door open and you can get all the way through the boat. It's very convenient as well as functional. One thing that I really love too is Aventura has done these built-ins on the bow. They didn't just do bow seating or bow pads. They've actually manufactured these in, and this is included as standard on the Aventura 50. So you see on both sides, these really, really nice cushions and you have two tables, both have little pop-up lights. So you still have this walkway, so you can easily get to your anchor, you can easily see off the bow, do anything you need, pick up a mooring ball, but it's also this wonderful area with these tables and seats, just a perfect place to have a cocktail at the end of the day. They do have the option for a overhang, so it clips in up above on kind of the eyebrow of your, of your um, flybridge. And then you can see there are these two little attachment points on the bow. So that's where you'd basically have a pole and you could have a big sunshade that goes off on the front if you'd like some even additional coverage. Most clients we have are not doing that because your flybridge itself is so expansive that they're sort of keeping this space as an area that's really dedicated. If you wanna sit out here and catch some rays, this is the spot to do it. You can also see that you have the option to continue that either real teak or the synthetic teak through this front area on the cockpit flooring on the bow, you also have the ability to continue it all the way down the sides of the vessel. So it gives it a really polished and really formal look. Definitely stands out from some of the other brands that are all kind of just the white plastic on the decks. So I'll go back inside now and I'll take you down into the cabins. The layout of this Aventura is the um, cabin layout that is for a primary suite. So your entire port side is dedicated to one huge cabin. On the layouts we have coming to charter, there are five cabins. So this area has basically been divided into two. So I'll come down the stairs and I'll show you how this one is laid out and then I'll explain the difference to the ones that we have joining our charter fleet next season. So you come down the stairs and if you go left, you basically have this enormous master cabin. It's really nice. They've turned all of the beds in all of the cabins so that they face out, which is wonderful. That way you can see the water. You aren't you know, wedged in. You can see that you have a walk around the entire way. If you come into the cabin, you'll see you have a little desk here, which you can use either as a makeup vanity or if you need it for a workstation. There's the option for a nice 50 inch flat screen TV built right in and recessed so it looks really clean and polished. If you walk around then you see that you have clearance all the way around to get around the bed, uh, queen size bed, and then you come over into this area and you really have a lot of storage. So you have um, a big storage cabinet in here. This is an owner's boat, so there are some items in it. And then you have a folding area as well as additional drawers. Um, because of the way they've done the skylights for some of these, you get a lot of natural light in this cabin. If you look up, you have a huge section here. Um, with just glass above it. So it's a really, really bright space. It doesn't feel closed in at all. The bed is nice. You don't have to step up to get in it. It's very low, very easy access. And then you also have this additional little setting area right off of your bed. So it's a nice little spot if you want to just cozy up with a book. 
So this is all considered the primary suite area. Then if you walk out here, you have your head, um, which on this layout is just the toilet itself. Then you have an entire separate area that is your actual shower and your actual bath. So if you walk in here, you see that you have this really unique double vanity, not something that you normally see on catamarans of this size. So you have a double vanity in here, and then you have this fantastic walk-in shower. So you can come all the way here and this entire kind of four peak area has been taken up with a shower. So it's really big, really spacious. Um, I'll walk all the way in and then turn around so it gives you an idea of how big this is. Um, all of the showers in the Aventura have done rain shower heads, which is a really nice feature, obviously both for private and for charter. Um, and then you can see all the way back into that master cabin. So the difference on the five cabin layout I'll try and explain this to you the best I can. Um, oh, let me show you one more thing here. If you did want a washer dryer in this layout, it can fit right into this cabinetry right at the bottom of coming down the stairs. This upper cabinet could be a washer and the bottom could be a dryer if you want separate. If you go with the five cabin layout, the difference is that where this door is and where this is all one giant kind of head area, this becomes a cabin and the front becomes a head with separate shower. And there's a mirror of this on the starboard side that I'll show you. And this area right here where this cabinet is, um, it's about three feet by two feet. This actually becomes the shower. So what you would have is you would still have this primary suite that looks just like this, still has the giant bed, nice walk around. The difference would be you would come in here and you're going to have your head and where there's a wall here, that wall becomes your shower. So that area, in essence, where you have the wall, and if you look around here, where those white lockers are, that becomes the shower that is all for this primary suite. Then this door would lead you into a cabin and into another head. So that's how we go from this boat, which is a four cabin layout, to the five cabin layouts that we have joining our charter fleet. So if I walk up here, we'll come across and we will go over to the starboard side. In this layout, the starboard side has two more cabins. So we come down the stairs and this will give you an idea of what it would be like on the other side. So if you move forward to the bow, you have another queen size cabin. This one is raised slightly. The nice thing is it is still walk around. You have some little steps to get up. Um, so you don't have to completely jump up, which is nice and convenient. You are able to actually walk up on either side of the bed. This has again, another head and another really nice shower. Um, this is actually the smallest of all the showers and it's still a really, really good size. Um, get this open for you. So you can see you still have plenty of space in the shower. And again, you still have the nice handheld as well as the rain head shower. And then you have your vanity, light up mirror, um, and additional storage all in this head. So if I turn around, you can get an idea of the space in this cabin. You also have quite a bit of storage in each of the cabins. You kind of have this little um, storage area here, looking out the window. You have cabinetry storage up above, and you have some additional hanging storage right when you walk into this cabin. Again, the beds are turned facing out the window, which is really nice, uh, helps with the light. Obviously you have a skylight, you have fans, uh, but it's just very, very well laid out and a very, very comfortable cabin. Uh, for your guests. And then if we come down the stairs to the starboard and to the aft, you would have on this boat, the third cabin. So step down again, a little bit lower bed, which is nice. If you have anybody with mobility, this is also uh, that tapered queen. You can walk around again. It's facing toward the window. You have storage all the way up in the cabinetry above. And then you also have hanging storage. I'll step back here. Right over when you first walk in, you have a hanging locker as well. So this cabin has its own ensuite as well as they all do. So here's your sink and vanity. Then you have your head and then you have your shower. Now this shower is the same size as you would have on the five cabin. So where I tried to show you where that fifth shower would be that we don't have on this version. If you took out those white cabinets, this is the size that that shower would be. So it's a very large, very substantial shower. 
take you back up the stairs and then we'll go check out the flybridge. On the Aventura, they have an option for a Fisher Panda generator. We have actually modified that and they are going to be coming with Northern Light 20 KWs. We find those to be more popular and more reliable. So we're putting those in. Uh, they have shanker water makers. You can do ice makers. Uh, they have underwater lights, lots of options, all the most popular things that our guests are looking for and that private owners are looking for. One additionally nice thing with Aventura is they are a little bit smaller company, so they're much more willing to make some modifications. Certainly we can't do much with hauls, but if you have small requests, small changes, things that you would like personally, they are very amenable to making those, those changes that you would prefer. So up on the flybridge, you'll see one thing that really stands out of all the power cats in this class is the way that they've done this aft. So normally this is sort of just wasted space. It's either an overhang in fiberglass or it's just open deck. And they've made this all into a huge giant sun lounge, which I think is fantastic since it normally is not utilized in any way. This is just perfect if you have people that want to sit up here and sun. They have some overhangs still, but they could certainly push out to the edge and get some sun if they like. You then have another enormous dining area. I'll try to stand up on this step and see. You could easily get 10 to 12 people up here. This huge table, all the wraparound seating, so it's really comfortable and nice. You have great visibility up on the helm here. I'll take you over there in a second. And then you have a storage area as well as a kind of built-in outdoor kitchen. Same as downstairs, you can have the synthetic teak or you can have the real wood or you can just do the white plastic. We've gone ahead and done the wood up on this flybridge area as well on the two that are joining our charter fleet. So you have storage on this side and then right when you came up to the bridge you have this built-in kitchen which has a fridge. We're actually going to be putting ice makers on this right side so that you have an ice maker up here as well. If you raise this top you end up with your grill and you end up with a sink all in this area. So you have a cooktop and you have a sink so again, very convenient, well-placed right down um, is, your, is, your, is your galley. So it's a very simple task to walk up the stairs and that you have everything right at your fingertips for grilling. So that's a really nice setup. And then if you come over here, you have the helm. One thing we really like is that you have this big giant bench seat. So you don't have just one chair that's fixed in place at the helm. So the nice thing is multiple people could sit next to the captain while you're underway, which is convenient. You have your dual Garmin screens. Again, depending on which package you pick, you can have either the larger or the smaller screens. You have your bow thruster control. If you go with the joystick, we can have the joystick control on the bow so that you can be primarily driving for up on the flybridge. And then over here, you have another seating area so that again, most, multiple people in your party can be sitting together. But you can see from the size of this flybridge that it really is not gonna be a problem to have eight, 10, 12 people on board. There's plenty of room, there's plenty of space. Everyone's gonna be very, very comfortable and you're not gonna feel like you're on top of each other. You can also see that you get really nice visibility from the bridge, the way they've designed this. Um, you can actually see off the bow. So you have good visibility, which is something that we don't see on all the power cats. So you can see both your, you know, your port and your starboard edges to see where you are. And then they do have backup cameras um, integrated with the Garmin so that you can see where you are in terms of backing the boat up if you need to be docking. So that's a walkthrough of the Aventura 50 here at Cannes. As I mentioned, we are Virgin Charter Yachts. We are the dealers for Aventura in the Caribbean. And we would love to work with you if you are looking to add an Aventura to a charter fleet. We can assist you with that in the British Virgin Islands, or we could certainly help you if you're looking to just buy an Aventura that you would like to have privately um, somewhere in the Caribbean or the tropics. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. Our contact information is on our site. Thanks.